Oculus announced Wednesday the first consumer version of the Rift virtual reality headset will arrive in the first quarter of 2016. Images in its blog post show its first consumer version will sport a smoother design, and the company said CV1 builds on the tech of its most advanced prototypes. But other than that marketing speak, Oculus is keeping mostly quiet on what's under the hood, or visor. We did hear from founder Palmer Lucky at this year's South by Southwest that the latest Rift prototype uses two screens, which could clear up complaints of low resolution in earlier versions. The good news is, Oculus will get into the rest of the technical specifications next week. This is important for both consumers and developers who are building games for the headset. Game makers need to know what resources they have available to create their games, and consumers need to know how much computer power they'll need to get the most out of the headset. For what it's worth, this is the firmest announcement yet in what has been a historically cagey development and release timeline. I would go on record as saying, um, hardware-wise for the headset, it's, it's arguably almost there for the consumer product, and now there's a few other parts. So That was Oculus CEO Brendan Arebe in November 2014. The month before then, rumors surfaced Oculus would be making a limited release in summer of 2015. Oculus never commented. A release date is big news for competitors too. It means the first mover in consumer VR will be Valve and HTC with their Vive headset. The company say a consumer edition will be ready by the end of 2015. For Newsy, I'm Jamal Andrus.